Okay, so let's talk about Elastic IP. So when you stop and you start an EC2 instance, we know very well that the public IP will change. And so if there is for whatever reason a need for you to have a fixed public IP, then we need to use something called an Elastic IP. And so what is an Elastic IP? Well, it is a public IPv4 IP and that you own as long as you don't delete it. So it's yours, it will never change as long as you don't delete it. And obviously you can attach it only to one instance at a time. And we can remap it across instances. So that means we can move our IPv4 from one instance to the other one and we'll see this in the hands-on. Overall, we're not paying for the Elastic IP if it's attached to a server and that server is running. But if you don't, but we start paying for the Elastic IP if it's not attached to a server. So this is where it gets tricky. So when you have Elastic IP, make sure you're always using it, otherwise you're going to pay for reserving an IP you don't use. So why would we even use Elastic IP? Well, the exam is mainly going to ask one thing. It says we want to mask the failure of an instance by quickly remapping the address, the IP address from one instance to another in the account. And so for this, we have to use an Elastic IP and we'll see this in the hands-on. So this is the main use case uh, when we want to have a, a static IP or when we want to be able to quickly remap the address of a web application using IPs. This is the use cases. Overall, in your account though, real world, you can only have five Elastic IP, but we can ask AWS to increase that. But overall, just again, real world, I would try if I were you to avoid to use Elastic IP unless you really need it. So always think if there are not other alternatives available to you. Maybe you could use a random public IP just like normal and maybe you want to register a DNS name to it, maybe using root 53. Or if it's just a classic web application, use a load balancer with a static host name that is directly mapping to your backend instances automatically. So always think about whether or not you need an Elastic IP. But for the exam, just remember, Elastic IP is for a fixed IP address to be able to remap between instances. So let's have a look at how they work. So we have my first instance and my second instance right here, and they're both running the same web application. I'm just going to go ahead and SSH into both of my instances just to modify a little bit the hello world. So I'll just edit the var www.html.index.html for this one, and I'll say it's hello world one. And then, so I'll exit and save. Oh, and permission denied, so I need to do sudo nano var ww html index. Okay, now we can say hello world one, and we're good. And then I'm going to go ahead and SSH into my other instance, and I'm going to run the exact same command, the sudo nano right here. And this time I'll say hello world two. This way we can recognize which instance is what. So if we go back to our browser and refresh the first one, we get hello world one and the second one, hello world two. Great. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and create an Elastic IP. So we go to Elastic IP, we allocate a new address, the scope is VPC, and we click on allocate. And here we go, we have an Elastic IP. So as you can see, this IP I just obtained is 63.33.17.116. Uh, so this is just something that I will have all along. It's not allocated to anything right now, but I have this IP, it's mine. Now, if I go ahead and I associate that address with my instance, so say I want to associate it with my first instance, then we can click on Associates, and here we go. My first instance will now have a new public IP. So if we go back to my instance, my first instance, we can see that the public IP has now changed. The IPv4 public IP is now a link. And that link is the link to my Elastic IP. So that's how we know if we're using an Elastic IP. And so if I copy this, so I'll just copy, um, clicking on here, I'll copy the IPv4 public IP and go here. Now we get hello world one, great. And so hello world one is perfect. We'll just refresh and it's always hello world one, right? But now what if I want to quickly remap my web server by remapping the public IP? Well, we can do this. For this, we'll just take the elastic IP, we'll disassociate it and then we'll associate it with my second instance very, very quickly. Click on associate, done. And now if I go back to my web browser and refresh the exact same page, I get hello world two. And so all of a sudden, thanks to the Elastic IP, I was able to direct all my traffic from my instance one to my instance two. So it's pretty awesome. So that's it for Elastic IP. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I will see you in the next lecture.